Getting started as a new Team Fortress 2 player can be a harrowing task. Team 2 is an old game, and it doesn't adequately provide the tools for newer players to get settled in. The first thing I'd advise any new players to do is to install a custom config. These come with performance optimizations, but more importantly, they come with much better network settings. This all might seem a bit excessive to those who are used to modern games, but TF2 is an old beast and its standard network settings are a detriment to all new players. Any player worth his salt is already using some variation of these and you might as well level the playing field. In the description below I will link the config I use, along with some extra configurations for those who would like to run TF2 on lower settings than I do. To install the config, simply extract the RAR file and copy the contents of the TF folder into your own. Open up your Steam library, right click on Team Fortress 2, click on properties, then local files, and finally browse. This will open up an explorer window to your TF2 installation. For those of you who are not using WASD as their default control scheme, navigate to TF, CFG, User, and open the autoconfig.cfg file in Notepad, and find these binds. Change these to your corresponding movement keys, and you're good to go. In the same folder, you'll also find a file called spy.cfg. Open it up, and at the top you'll find the undisguise button and the quick loadout change binds. Mine are set to mouse 4 and mouse wheel down. You can simply replace those two keys by the ones you'd prefer, but I would strongly urge you to bind these on your mouse or other buttons that are within quick reach since they are both lifesavers. If you'd rather run TF2 on lower settings, within the file you've downloaded there's a folder named Other Configs, each one of them sorted from highest quality to lowest, with a small description for each of them. Simply choose the one you'd prefer and navigate to TF, Custom, and delete all files called Master Config Medium High Preset. There will be one or two of them depending on whether or not you've booted TF2, and plop in the config you'd prefer over it. For those who would rather customize the configs for themselves, hop on over to masterconfig.com download and follow the instructions on the site. Next up are a series of in-game settings we need to adjust. Start your game and open the options. Scroll down until you reach the class-specific skills and bind the button for Spy Last Disguise. Once again, I found this one to my mouse. You can bind it wherever as long as you can easily press it whilst playing. Close your options and open up your advanced options. Make sure to enable both automatically reload weapons and fast weapon switch. Then scroll down to the class specific options and enable spy, enable concise disguise menu. This will replace the standard buttons in the disguise menu ranging from 1 to 9. And instead we'll only use the 1 to 3 buttons, dividing the 9 classes into 3 submenus. For those who are used to the 1 to 9 buttons to disguise, it might take some getting used to, but in the long run this menu will serve you much better, trust me. As a last suggestion, I would strongly advise you to open up your options one more time and rebind the crouch button from the standards control to your shift key. Shift isn't used in standard TF2, and this will lead to a much more comfortable hand position. Crouching is an integral part of the game, and thus you'll be using it all the time. As a final note, I'd like to briefly touch on the subject of mouse sensitivity. These settings can be found in the options under the Mouse tab. Make sure to enable raw input and disable mouse acceleration. Mouse acceleration does exactly what it sounds like. The faster you move your mouse, the higher your in-game sensitivity will be. As a spy, you'll be making fast and jittery movements all the time, so mouse acceleration will likely be a detriment in the end. Mouse consistency is often key in shooters, but if you're absolutely vehement in keeping it on since you're already used to it, you can enable it. You do you. As for sensitivity, I strongly believe that this is preference. Find a good balance for yourself. Too low a sense will lead to having a harder time landing stabs and trick stabs, whilst too high a sensitivity might make shooting a heavy burden. Find the sensitivity you yourself are comfortable with, and don't fall into the rabbit hole of letting other players tell you what the absolute best sensitivity is. Just be sure to experiment with it. That's it. Now you're good to go. I hope to see you in the other parts of the tutorial. P.S. If there are any of you out there watching my videos using Adblock... Good. YouTube hasn't paid me a cent in four years anyway.